What is up everyone? The last few videos you guys have seen, we completely busted our ass trying to get the LS3 supercharged set up an E36 so I could have a weapon of a drift car. And you guys saw in the last video at Lime Rock that it did absolutely amazing. We had no hiccups with this thing all day. Like if you want, go watch the video. All right, just go watch it because this thing did amazing. We didn't have to touch it after a small hiccup with the steering shaft, but besides that, it did phenomenal it completely changed the car i couldn't be happier and there's still so much room for improvement which makes me so excited so good we have had the last few weeks me and spoon have not stopped it has been We're so not stopping. like i hope i don't know what it looks like behind the camera but it has not stopped we had a nice day yesterday with the boys but we were pit biking all day so i think i banged my body up even more so with that continues a fresh week because well this weekend, Middletown, New York, us and Clean Culture are partnering up for another car show, drift event, just fun time event where all the boys are going. Middletown, New York, Orange County Fairgrounds this weekend. Tomorrow, and I guess it's tomorrow after this video, tickets show up. Come, not, come hang out. Come hang out. If you're in CT, the New York, be it's not far. Have some fun. My buddy Ju uh, Neil from Juice Ox is showing up. He doesn't come out very often, so that'll be really cool. So. I can't wait to see you. But uh, for now, let's talk, oh, tickets in the description. For now, let's talk about what the heck we got going on this week. Another, another crunch. Another crunch. You guys remember at our last clean culture event, uh, the coupe got pretty banged up. Not only did the kit get kind of smashed up, but my beloved 1J finally died. We lost compression in one, maybe two cylinders. This thing has been around for a long time. It's done me amazing. I'm really bummed that it let go, but I'm also, it doesn't owe me anything. This car has, this engine has gone through so much and now it's just bad timing because literally in a week from today, we leave for final bout, final stage. We go in, we're going to Wisconsin with this car, which means the car has to be fixed, painted, buffed, liveried, and it obviously needs to be running. <laughs> we don't have much time, especially since we have the Clean Culture event this Saturday. So, if you guys remember, Method hooked us up with a Mystery 1J, and we were very tempted to swap this thing in. Uh, but after the crazy week we've had, we realized that we cannot we don't have a single month to spare. I thought we had two weeks until final bout. I did too. Right? I was full. I thought we had two weeks. Same. We have a week. Is there much perspiration from Spoon? I'm just going to go get another one, Jay. Like a tested, clean, fresh out of, out of a Toyota Crown one, Jay. So we could just swap it in here untouched, clean it, throw it in, and then just get, a right, right, get us ready for final yeah. bout. And I think from there, our goal is to take this out, take the mystery one. Make one. Make one and build it. I think it's time for you to build an engine. Yeah, yeah, I want to just, I, I think this car deserves a built engine just because I want to like you build it yourself. We'll have time. Here. If it's on the side, we'll actually have time to build it. So I'd love to, yes, build a 1J for this car. But for now, let's go get a stock 1J and throw it in. So my ass is about to go spontaneously drive to New Jersey, pick up an engine while I leave the boys to pull this. I'm going to start my journey. I'm going to leave the boys to it. So it's your vlog now, Smooth. And we're getting right after it. Jimmy's gone. Jimmy went to go pick up the alarm block. Um, me, Trevor, the guy just got right after it and just ripped everything apart. I'm sorry, Austin was editing. I love you. I miss you. Our shifter and engine mounts away from yanking this thing out of here. Hey. And just like that, ready to pull this pig out. This is actually pretty easy. Like, we didn't want to film it. Austin was busy. It wasn't nothing spectacular. It took us, what, all of an hour to unhook everything? Easy money. Easy. Radio support, everything just easy. You've done a pretty good job here, boy. Thank you. Not too bad, not too bad. Now it's time to put this Jay-Z in the bin. And, uh, <laughs> in the bin. <laughs> no, 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 we're gonna, we'll take it out, we'll look. Hey, we do have a full RB30 to drop in this thing. Imagine that. Should we just do that well, before James gets back? <laughs> it comes back to the RB3 Easy. sitting in it. Hold up. Uh, go up. Oh. Yeah. You grab one too? We got a bunch of Put it behind. Put it behind there. Everything. Oh, I forgot about all that. Okay. Hey, Steve. None Jay Z. None yeah. Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> Once again.
after a very stressful drive, we officially made it here to JDM Engine Depot. Yeah, look at that. We are at a Japanese engine importer. It's exactly what it sounds like. They literally just import engines from Japan. Since the 1JZ VVTi engine was never sold in America, we gotta get it from somewhere like this that imports it. So, I'm gonna go walk around and see what they got. Hope they got a clean one and uh, put it in the truck. Hopefully it's not too much money. <laughs> Let's see what else they got. They always have parts laying around too that they import, so. The side skirts, got back seats, a bunch of front clips. It's really funny to see an E46 front clip. R33 GTR rear. So they brought one to the front for me. You should be able to kind of go walk around the back, but they don't really let you too much anymore. Look at all these engines, by the way. That's wild. Look at all the K-Series. It's so hard to not want to buy more things when you're here, but engines have gotten so expensive over the last few years. I remember how cheap it used to be. So this is what they grab me right here. That ECU definitely has seen some shit. So it's hard, right? Because they definitely decrease the crap out of these things, make them look really, really nice. So you kind of have to look around and get some telltale signs about the condition of the engine. Maybe look in some spots that's hard to get some degreaser and power washer through. And of course, obvious things like taking the oil cap off and seeing if there's any crud in the inside and getting a look at what the cams look like. Also kind of sucks to see that there's, that this is no longer sealed up, right? So like what has gotten in here in all of the transporting time? I mean, being thrown around the warehouse, being probably moved around containers and it's always a gamble. It's always, always a stressful gamble. Only thing I don't like is the fact that it's not sealed up, but it actually does look really clean. The more I dig around, like the little crevices and stuff actually look really nice. All the hardware looks clean. Sucks the intake hasn't been sealed up, but you just don't know. I hate this. I honestly hate buying Japanese engines because you're just looking at them and you're like, you don't know. It's like such a gamble. So they have some more sitting over here. And they look cleaner, but unfortunately, they've been sitting without a oil cap on, which concerns me. So you can tell the cam's a little. I'm gonna stay away from that. All right, boys, this is what we ended up with. It's a hard choice. It looks the least messed with, and it was honestly the cleanest one inside the valve cover. The, the ones that looked really, really clean on the outside, they were in the back. They were really, really crusty in the inside. I'm not scared of a sludgy engine, honestly. The Japanese engines, it's always the sludgy ones that always last the longest. It could just be a little bit of dirt getting there from like kind of splashing in, just having it off in the shop, but I'm not taking my chance with this. It looks clean on the inside. Not too crusty on the outside. Had his 100K service on it. Besides that, it's it's all there. Let's start our two and a half hour journey back to the shop. Hopefully it's not any longer than that with traffic and uh, see what the boys think. These things are not as cheap as they used to be, but we don't have time to play musical mystery, Lego, Jay-Z game. <laughs> We're gonna get this, assume it's great, and uh, we'll be good for final bout. One eternity later. Well, there's a lot of fuel on cylinder five intake valve. Did I burn up a valve? We still don't know what happened to this engine. Oh, my legs are so <laughs> yesterday. Ugh. I'm getting the engine out wasn't bad. I just spent the last hour getting bit by mosquitoes and taking this. <laughs> mosquitoes have been the worst. The awesome only person here gets bit by the mosquitoes. Sounds sweet, baby. <laughs> Can we rotate the engine over real quick? Keep going. Cylinder five just smacked the valve. Crazy. Thanks. I knew it was gonna be an exhaust valve. Uh, I think these exhaust valves are just getting beaten up. Yeah. With yeah, all that just back loaded pressure. Up. With all that, uh, the, all that back pressure. The in car it. was loaded up. That's like even the Kendas at 40 psi, you were struggling. With. I hate to look like I just copped out and bought a near new engine because clearly I did, I did not want to spend that money. But we literally do not have it. If I had three weeks, we would have had enough time yeah. and it would have been cheaper to take this and fully rebuild it because this car deserves a built engine. Realistically, it's probably just in the head, but we don't have enough time to make that gamble. So I'm thinking we take that engine, 
Slap it in just like that. Slap it in just like that. Get it through the event, have some fun. Build this thing on the side. Swap a roo, and we'll either sell that engine and we'll just be, it'll be known as a good engine. Or use it for something else. Or definitely use it for something else. What are you looking at? Mm. What, Spoon's car? Mm. No, nah, he wants a K. I want the car light. Yep. I mean, we don't know if it's only in the head until we pull the head off. Head off, but let's get this engine out. I want you to see it. Dang, that's a stock one, Jay. It's just still got everything on it. Oh, dude. I know. There was one that had, like, still had, like, the power steering guards and everything, and I wanted it so bad, but there was, like, there was, like, six engines to choose from, and five of them would have, like, overall be really nice, but I had one thing about it that I really didn't like. This one was the one that's, like, not the nicest looking, but there's no big red flags about it. It's clean underneath. Like, it's not bad. It's fresh. It's not bad. It's still a Jay-Z. We almost threw your RB30 in the car. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to drag that bitch out of there and just put it in there and send you a photo and be like, hey, now we're ready to talk. You know what's great about this too? <laughs> I need a spare stock 1J turbo for my Ebisu car so I can put this in my suitcase next time I go to Japan. It has a good turbo on it, but you never know. Yeah. They uh, just pop. Imagine having one bang, ready to go? I don't know, man. I think you still need one more 300ZX that's got a six cylinder. He doesn't drive the two that he owns. He doesn't drive most of the cars that he owns. Hey, I've been driving, been driving a, them. a lot he, of cars. You know, this I'll year. give it to him. He has. He's been driving he has. the past three weeks. He's driven the Chaser, the 15, the 7, a lot. I'll a give lot. it to him. Like daily driving. I'm driving a lot. All right. All the ones that have AC. And look, the blue. Did they show that the blue car is down? Oh, yeah. We'll take it out. Look how beautiful this car is. So the blue car has been uh, stuck up top of the lift because once it goes on the four post lift, it's kind of like stuck there for a while. I forgot how it got so dusty. I forgot how beautiful this car was. It's the only blue car I like. Looks cool next to the red too. All right, seven thousand. Yeah. Don't worry. We, it's not like we forgot about this car. We just been. I've been dying. You know how badly I want to get the engine back in the Porsche. And I'm sorry because I know you guys have been loving that content. Trust me, I love working the Porsche. But man, we've been on a mission this season, and we're doing what we can. Just like that. You got it up great. It looks. I'll clean the back of the head. This thing come off of a Toyota Sora or some shit? Yeah, hey, it's a crown engine. Crown engine? Yeah, hey, it's a crown engine, which is good. And when you buy a 1J, just try and get the newest 1J you could find. This is a crown, so it's like the newest vehicle that had the 1Js in it. So. You could assume it's all, yeah, it's automatic. You assume less beat on, less miles. Unless I had it. <laughs> the auto going crazy. Right. New day, and it's time to get to work. And my first thought was, okay, before we touch anything, let's take this thing apart because it'll kill me not knowing what hurt the engine, right? I was like, okay, we pulled the valve covers off. I'll, st I'll start tinkering before we get the camera out. And while well, I pulled the covers off and instantly, uh, we learned pretty quickly. Let me see if I can detect. Yeah, 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 so Steve. I, I, yeah let, let me know. Let us know if you see anything. There's a big gouge right there. Is that normal? No. No? <laughs> uh, so that's your camshaft? Yes, sir. So, oh, that's not right. <laughs> A uh, rod or what was that? <laughs> Did it blow a rod? <laughs> I just know that the camshaft is damaged and that's not normal. This is basically the top of the bucket, or like the shim. The shim. It's the shim. Through a shim. Pesky shims. So, so that's our problem shim. too. So what we did is, I guess we over revved it. So it was my fault. <laughs> all good. I'll accept that. I really thought it could handle. Uh, 7700 RPM. The shim couldn't handle it. The lie detector the test determined that was a lie. That was a lie. Maybe it was a combination with the crazy backfiring that it was doing, and it was just like yeah. backfired and overrevved at the same time, and it's just like backfire may popped the shim maybe the, box, the backfire popped the shim, the exhaust valve got all pissed off. Who knows? We'll just blame it on overrevving it. Except the feet. There it goes. I feel like I need to like Own it. kiss this thing and love it I feel horrible i feel like i did my like my child dirty i though. mean knowing that we can easily drop a set of valve train and put it back together for now we have an engine to get in this car so let's get to it all right so clearly there was some valves of piston contact on this thing so yeah you'll get that did it did the valve hit and then throw a shim did it throw a shim and hit the valve was it over? who knows i'm not i don't care at this point we'll take it apart another day but for now we got some work to do, so let's get our new engine ready to get in the car. So what we had to do is take this big pile of stock stuff and well, basically strip it down to a bare long block because that's all we're gonna be using. So 
Ready? Yeah. Cool. Quite a bit of stuff on this thing that we're not going to be using in its stock form. One thing I always like to talk about is the oil heat exchanger thing right here. I'll call it the oil heater, not an oil cooler, right? So coolant lines actually run through the housing for the oil filter and it's supposed to heat up the oil quicker for cold starts, right? To actually move this entire housing. See, not too bad. Oh, now if you look right here, we actually have a surface to mount our oil filter. So this oil filter right here will actually seal on this surface right here, but you need it to actually thread in. So they sell this piece that we'll have to take off of here, but it's basically a double-sided rod, right? So it threads into the block, and then it has a rod that sticks out that has threads for the oil filter, just like OEM. Oh yeah, you got that? All right, all right, <laughs> we get it. We get it. You're shredded. You're a beef. Well, long day today. That thing seems mint, and I need a spare turbo for my Ebisu car because stock turbos. After 14 psi. See, Steve knows. Yeah. It's out. There we go. Nice work. Look at that donut. Get on in there, boy. This is like the only seal we actually have time to replace on this thing. I would love to do the timing belt, water pump, uh, cam seals, and front seal for sure, but we just literally don't have time to get the gaskets. Oh I had one of these laying around. Yeah. Lube the inside, not the outside. If you lube the outside, that fuel will pop out. I've had these ISR swap mounts for, I mean, as long as I've had the engine, and good units. <laughs> I know there's a lot of swap kits for the Jay-Z and the 13, but I'm like, I really like that. that uh, the ISR kit. Good to go. Grab from the stash. It's been a while since I found that shit. Home. Looks like it's been through war. World War. World War Jim. I guess so. <laughs> I think Torque Rico. Happy we're doing this out of the car for once. <laughs> Remember last summer when we put it in and out three times in a row? Shake it. Oh, this thing's always a pain in the ass. Oh, all right, just talk shit to it, it goes in. <laughs> uh, we're gonna run new fuel lines. It's about time. It's about time. All right, we cleaned the bay, got everything out of the way. There's a couple things we removed because there's a couple things that we want to change. Um, nothing too crazy, we don't have a lot of time, but we have the drivetrain ready. We're gonna finish the rest of it in the car, so at least the big stuff is in there, we can work around it. Uh, so let's get this thing back in the car. There you go. We need a new crane. <laughs> no, we need one wheel. One wheel, yeah, fair enough. I keep thinking, I'm like, oh, we won't need this for a long time, and it's literally out every day. Every day. It's <laughs> been out every week for the past month and a half. It is what it is. You okay. know, you'd be proud of me. I actually brought the limiter down on the LS this week. I, I saw that. I remember You that. saw that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. I said, maybe we'll bring this one down. Derek goes like, why do you do that? It would have been fine. It should. That thing should have been fine. I st I'm still not convinced. It's, it's a VVTI thing. Should have been non-VVTI, right? That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. I like what you think. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Just damn yeah, yeah. smooth. <laughs> <laughs> fucking international. <laughs> uh, you sticking this thing in or are you staring at me? We're staring at you. Let's <laughs> we, just take a moment. Hey yo. Let's <laughs> just take a moment and appreciate it. I cannot take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, his whole personality changed so fast. Uh, uh, down a little bit. I'm so in tune with this stupid thing. Bullshit. Yeah, whatever, so bro. Good. Whatever, bro. Hey, what happened? Talks a big game over here. I'm saying. I oh, impacted yeah. those oh. on there. Jesus, you used that to get it on? You didn't want the engine to fall out.
There we go. Alright, let's have it. Pull it back out. And there we go. She got a Jay-Z back in her. Cool, not crooked. Love that. It's good. Good job. Remember the budget hatch? One of the most OG builds on the channel. Jimmy's car. He blew a KA up a long time ago. He put a new one in. So I put him, I made him put it on ethanol so he doesn't blow up another one. That's hope. That's f hope. I don't know what the f is going on. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, it's a board chamber. <laughs> Love this. Shooting time on a KA with this Motronic, it's been a long time. Bring you back to your roots. You've been pampered with all this lanky CU bullshit and nice computers. Uh, <laughs> you gotta bust out the sundial for this mother. <laughs> sundial. <laughs> I'm talking shit about Link like it's curse words. Uh, I want one. I want one. Don't show up to your tuner shop without a working wide band. Yeah, that, that, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> it worked on startup, I swear. See, he restarted the modem. Now it's working. Let me put a carburetor on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Flashlight for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a lot of work to do on this thing. We're changing a few things around, which we're going to update you guys in the next video. Uh, and I have to help Chip with his car because the only day we have to do it so he could drift this weekend. Oh, he's coming to drift this weekend? No, I need, uh, oh. he's going to Lime Rock. Box it. Box it. But we should make him come to New York. Yeah, make power. him come to Middletown. Yeah. I'll be fresh. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I'd love to have Chip with us this weekend. And he'll have us. Okay, that's good, yeah. I like this. So, we're gonna do all this and get as much work as we can. So, for now, before we leave you guys, Guy, our Kiwi guest, uh, leaves us tomorrow. So, before he leaves, we want to do some mail together. It's yeah. a good time, so. It was a request from him. It was a request by Guy. Yeah, he wanted to do some mail. So, uh, let's go do some thumbnail. So guys, if you don't know what Submail is, we have a P.O. Box in our description, and you guys, our subscribers, send us mystery packages. We don't know what they are. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're useful, sometimes they're gross, and sometimes it's just a really hard note that we force usually DJ to read. So, we have some packages laying around. We're really excited to open. Guy's really pumped for it. Special guest. Special guest. So we're going to make him open all of them. No, I'm <laughs> oh, shit. We got some good ones going here. Uh, this one I want to do. It looks, it looks crazy. Do you want to do it first or last? Set it off. Just set it off. Just set it off. No, I feel like this one's no, beautiful. This one's got good juju. So I'm gonna do this one first. Right. Oh, oh man. man. Jesus Christ. Note right on top. We love that, guys. Note on top. Well done. Oh, do How do I read this font? The gang. Perfect. Yeah, yeah good. good. Oh, man. Yo, Jimmy and the gang. <laughs> Been a long time subscriber. Back since the Z days. Took forever for me to, to send you Keep guys reading. something. Didn't really know. Oh, man, this is hard for me to read. And. That shit. What? <laughs> see what's inside? <laughs> yeah, so you're going to see what's inside. So no. therefore, your aunt, what is that? <laughs> what a long time subscriber. Back to these days. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that easy, huh? Yeah. Not that easy. Didn't really know what to send. So therefore, <laughs> therefore open. Open and see, and see what's, what's inside. inside. No. Here we go. Where'd it go? Chippy Choi. Double underscore. And check out some of my photography yet. So I just eating candy. C underscore E underscore H underscore photography. Holy if Central you guys want to trip me up, curse it. You want to trip DJ up? Get regular words. <laughs> regular, regular words. Regular words. Lots of high shoes. Jesus. Lots, Lots of bears. bears. Tell me that's a Jay Z Tommy belt right now. Tell me it's a Jay Z time belt right now. Jay Z time belt right now. <laughs> no way. Fuck. What no, are the chances? No, 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 wait. Now I have no excuse. Do you want that or what's going on? Wait. Do you want? Do you want? Do you want that? Hey. Do you want that or do you want door number two? It's an RB one. Do you want door number two? Oh. Why am I saying hi? This would be really nice to have. RB. That's what are you looking at? Do you want door number one or door number two? Uh, door number one. Oh, oh man. No? Jesus. Hey, this one's written better. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for all the notes, but the belt is for the Skyline R33. You're welcome. Oh, oh. how long has that been? Ooh, I'm trying to see. Didn't we just get this Wanted one? to mail a big package for my first time sending something. Gelato and house cookies. There's another oh, note. Is that sub mail within sub mail? Sub yeah, mail there. within sub mail. That's fresh. That's nice satin. Super. Volkswagen. You're not going to Lock City. You're yeah, going you're gonna drift. You're gonna drift clean culture instead. Okay. 
The answer just, is just okay. okay. You're competing in the competition too. Oh, <laughs> oh I'll lightning. try. Give her a try. Oh, we're all gonna that's a light. That's a Steve mobile. I can oh, see Steve up in that. Sick. A Ford Lightning. Oh yeah. The sure. champagne lightning. The champ. I was really hoping this was gonna be shoes, but these are Holy sick shit. too. God. Damn. Can I have the Ford you can have the Ford Lightning, Steve. <laughs> you also sent a very special package for Steve and Spoon. <laughs> Chippy Choi, thank you, my boy. Five, What's the deal? We have to nut no first. first. New Zealand's back. So. <laughs> it's handwritten. Shit. Ah. Short. Oh, it's better than mine. <laughs> hey, Jimmy and the guys. And <laughs> I'm a big rotary guy myself. And I have been watching your videos since you got the RX7 FD. Can't wait to see how the FC turns out fully oh, mocked shit. up. It's been a while. <laughs> While working in Atlanta, I saw these wrap snacks and thought of y'all. From Bird and 306. There you go, there you go Stevie. Sour yeah. cream with a dab of ranch. Uh, salt and vinegar truffle sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Stevie. Nacho nachos. No way. <laughs> Barbecue, Rick Wall, onion, sweet garlic, chili, my, garlic, new, pepper, my, new, yeah. my new goal, Jimmy Main on wrap snacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be tough, actually. <laughs> salt and vinegar truffle. Different. These are dope though, wrap snacks at your local, at your local neighborhood looks. bodega. Cops on. Uh, thank you from Bird and 306. Appreciate thank it. You. Of course, I'm grabbing the vibrant box. Go for it. Hey, Jimmy and the gang. I missed out on seeing you when you were in Tulsa. You did get to meet a good f amount of my friends, though. When did I go to Tulsa? We were on Drift Week. Drift Week. That yeah, was the only time we were in Tulsa. <laughs> <laughs> I have a shop here called Faber Auto. I also started a brand called Auto Hot. Auto Hot Rodica. Oh. I'm an 80s Nissan guy, but have had four S13s as well. Check my S12 and R31 out on my page on Instagram, favorite auto. S12. I saw an S12 this weekend. S12. You know they make them in coupe stand. Oh, all the best yeah. of you guys. Yeah, it's like an AJ favorite. Shout out to AJ. Let's check it out. Shut up. <laughs> Right That's I'll pretty sick. I'll take one. I like that. Yeah, Choke to start. Start. Yeah. Choke to start. Auto hot erotica. Dirty. Hot. I like it. The, it's like they, traditional they tattoo style. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah, tattoo cool. style. Like pin up style. Thank you, AJ Faber. Steve next. That's, that's, that's smart. Are these are just pictures. That's smart what? with a QR code. Spicy boy, speed shop. I like it already. I don't know where the note is. If you can read this, you might be a doctor. Spicy TV on YouTube. Spicy. Spicy. I wonder if they're from Australia. Dr. Oh, Dr. Shit. Steven Brule. At yeah, Clean yeah. Culture. That's a heavy EF. Clean Culture. Yeah. yeah Is I'll that an that. Australian uh, license no. plate? That's no, a that's, that's a Tennessee license plate. Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really close. Very, very close. CRX. I guess that was the same joint right that's there. That's a Riverside. I can tell. Yeah, it's fresh. Uh, you should def build one to whoop LZ nope. CRX. Midnight on that. <laughs> Included some of our merch. We are the Spoicy Boys. The spice. Based in Tennessee. Come to Slammed Enough Gatlinburg in September or River, Riverside Chattanooga. Wish we could have made it to both of those. Those oh, are. Oh, I see boys. <laughs> medium. Oh, shit. Uh, Got some trucker hats, the Spicy Boy Speed Shop. Let's check out the design. Number one, Spicy Boy Speed Shop. 2XL, what up? Oh, the mini truck on the back. That's fresh. Killed that. That is That, that one was fresh, too. Spicy Boys, front and back. Couple oh, of some woodwork in. It's for the Christmas tree, Steve. For the Christmas tree, little ornament. Merry Christmas. Merry Krima. <laughs> Spicy boys. Shout out to y'all. On hey, to the next dirty. one. They said make sure. Locked off my sidewalk to get out of my house this morning. <laughs> Listen, dude, I'm trying to make sure you're not going to roll your dainty ankle today. <laughs> 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 Gets a construction worker. Yeah, he's he's doing construction by his house. Literally outside of my house. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Hey, Chips Jimmy and team. Stuff. Congrats on the amazing growth of your channel. As longtime viewer, I'm blown away by the quality and entertainment you provide. The channel is my absolute favorite on YouTube, and I eagerly await each new upload. I'm a 3D print hobbyist. And guess what? I also have my own YouTube channel. 3RD. Third. Oh, third, third pedal <laughs> media. <laughs> Spelled a little weird by regular, spelled regular, where I showcase my passion for automobiles. Your channel has been a significant inspiration for me, and I can't thank you enough. Thanks again. Key van. Key van. Uh, who's got this parrot over me? You know, I'm trying to sound this thing out. P.S. We need more Tony cameos. What up, Stevie, Spoon, Austin? Don't forget those in-your-face close-ups. LOL.
What up? So shout out <laughs> Keevan. So These are so sick. This that is so that's cool. really cool. And they said, like, yeah, go on the black like, shirt. I love that. Yeah, put this in my living room. You can I need one. It almost like looks like it was going to be like rubber. Get some LEDs that's or something good. and backlight it because it's thin. Yeah, it's whatever. Thin, yeah, you go to okay, with the mouth, buddy. This is actually really cool. I mean, so I've, seen a, I've seen a million and a half things 3D printed, but I've never seen like a sign like Light this. Light it. It's yeah. pretty sick. That's really good. Oh, it backlights. So sick. I didn't think it would take backlighting that it well. Fresh above the skateboards, actually. Yeah, that's Ooh, fire. They killed that. The Hang it, that's sick. That's nice. really cool. This is sick. Thank you so that much. That is for cool. This. That's really yeah, awesome. Nope. Actually, cutting on this last package. Show me some art. It, it says painting on it, I and mean, this is like this came from Norway. This is wow. impressive. That is. This yeah. thing. That it's impressive. Packing job's impressive. It's impressive dude. that no one survived. I, I'm impressed at their trust in the postal service. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that just goes to show they're not from the Wait, states. Jim bodies it, opening it. <laughs> yeah, just straight down, like down the middle. Look at these animals, dude. This dude's just sending it down the center. Show you? Jim, please. Jim, show him something. Can I please? Before you... Yeah. <laughs> and he's doing it all like... Barbaric. Dude needs to hold it like that. It's like a little safety. That's stressful. Yeah. It's not stressful. It's less stressful. I'm just like pissing them off. <laughs> oh, this is actually legit. Very professional, first wow, off. Like hey, Jimmy. They forgot in the gang. Whatever. Holy uh, <laughs> Toss it out. That's <laughs> on the perch of the 964. Such a cool car, and to be honest, the fact that it's not perfect just adds to the character. Like most people in their 20s, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I want to do with my life. Same, same. <laughs> what do you in mean, 20s, 30s? 30s? In my 30s, same. That has led me to combining two of my favorite passions, cool cars and making art. Making art for a living is basically impossible, but hey, you won't get anywhere if you don't at least try. Hope the package arrived in one piece. I had to cut it in half to be within required measurements for shipping outside the country. <laughs> Imagine just like <laughs> making it like, oh fuck, I'll cut it out. That's what. Um, There's this stuff. Certificate. Oh. Certificate, Certificate of, of authenticity. authenticity. Yeah. Legit. That's, That's cool. that water. 964, drippy red. Lay it down. That's Oh, that's sick. It's really cool. Yeah, that's fresh. That's yeah. fucking sick. That is a good shot piece of fire. I, I'm back <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm bummed you had to cut it in half, but it kind of adds to the aesthetic of it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's actually really, really freaking cool. I love that. I love how rough it is. And you got a certificate of authenticity in case Guidardo blows Now up. it is your time become super famous so one day I could sell this for a million dollars and retire. Yeah. <laughs> it right is now. possible to make a living off of art, man. Keep at it, man. Keep doing your thing. Uh, that was awesome. Thank you everyone who sent us stuff for Submail. It's always a pleasure. If you guys want to be a part of it next time, PO Box always in the description. Send us anything you want. Something really creative, something that we've never tried before, or just a note that trips up chip or something, right? So, uh, <laughs> it. for now, we have, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, we got a lot of prep on the Jay-Z, which you guys will see the bulk of it next time. And we got to get Chip to uh, our clean culture event this weekend. So, <laughs> and, oh podcast. and we have to go do a podcast with Guy, our Kiwi guest of the week. So if you guys want to check it out, Patreon. Patreon, always in the description. So for now, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you very shortly.